Good afternoon guys, this is my British computer guy here. This is a quick video that's kind of a break from the norm. It's not a gaming video, it's not a tech video, it's actually an assistance video. And this is aimed at all the folks out here in my town, well in, in Houston and Texas, who were affected by Hurricane Barrel recently. I've seen a lot of people asking, how do you submit your receipt or get approval for your receipt for buying a generator or miscellaneous items? I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So this is really, this only applies if you've already submitted your application for assistance, maybe you've been denied or you're trying to update it. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and go along to disasterassistance.gov and then click on the sign in button here. It's going to go ahead and redirect you to login.gov because I believe everything is moving over there. So click on the continue. And once you get here, it's going to ask you for your email and password. Now this is the email and password you've used when you set up your account. So go ahead and enter it here and click on the sign in button. Once you, once you sign in, you are going to get a one-time code. Uh, this is for your two-factor authentication. So be sure to go ahead and check your phone for that and plug that in. Now, I'm doing this on a PC. If you're doing this on a phone, it may not require you to do this. I don't know. I haven't tried. So go ahead and click Submit. And this will take you to your applications. OK, so this is a list of all the applications that are already open. And as you'll see, I have one here that's already there that I've, uh, I have I, I worked on. I was accepted on one, declined on another. So just go ahead and click on Review. And then you don't need to worry about the assistance type or the status of these um, other things that are under assistance from FEMA if you're just going to go ahead and upload your receipts. So what you want to do is go to Upload Center and here you go to, go to Next and then what you want to do is select Assistance Type and go down to Other Miscellaneous and the document type is going to be under Other Estimate or Receipt. Okay. Now, as you'll see here, it does require some additional information. So when you upload your receipt before you take the picture of it or before you scan it in, you want to make sure that it has your full name, the last four of your social security number, the registration ID and the disaster number on the receipt. Or if you're uploading multiple receipts on maybe a piece of paper, make sure this information is on the piece of paper that you're uh, uploading with the documents. Your registration ID can be found here in the upper right hand corner of the screen along with your disaster number. Just make sure those are on there. Then go ahead and click on confirm and click on next. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you're ready to go ahead and upload your files. So all you do is click on choose file. And if you're doing this from your phone, you just select the, 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 the picture from your camera roll of the receipt and then click uh, either upload now or add another file. And you can add up to 10 megabytes worth of images, uh, which works out about three to four images, depending on how uh, new your, your phone is. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on Submit, and then you'll see all the document, all, all the images or pictures and receipts unlisted under the assistance type. Obviously, I haven't done this. I've already gone ahead and done this. Once you've done that, uh, that's it. All, as long as you've hit that Submit button, just keep checking back on your email. Uh, look for approvals and denials. Uh, and if you wanted to go ahead and see uh, where if you've been approved or denied, you should be able to find them if you go back to the disasterassistance.gov. You just go back to the tab section and uh, it should have an update there for you once they've uh, once they've been looking once they've looked into it. But also you'll get an email, um, I believe. Uh, they may even contact you by phone if they require more information. So keep an eye out for those. But really, that's all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. Not too difficult. If you have any difficulty, there's uh, information out there online and you can always call the uh, the 800 number to get a hold of FEMA. But be warned, uh, there is a very long wait time right now. It took me about two and a half hours on hold before I even got to speak to somebody. So hopefully this will cut down some of the time that you, you, you spend waiting. But if you like this video, please hit that like button and uh, don't forget to share. Uh, please pass it around. I don't mind at all. The uh, more people that see this, the better. The more people that I can help, the better. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye now.